Welcome to Dice Junkies, and this is another RPG Crate unboxing, and this is December 2017, and uh, let's get this thing going. What they send us for Christmas. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Ooh, right. ooh, man, they get bonus points if there's something about the Krampus in there. Seriously. <laughs> if there's something about the Krampus in there, they well, win. They, 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 they win put Christmas. Paper. They put paper in here. Uh, oh, I guess that, that, was our, that was our Christmassy. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I'm too busy looking to see if the Krampus is in there. All right, I see an awesome looking shirt already. Oh, hell yeah. Um, let's, uh, let's check this out first. We have uh, To the Open Seas is our, is our theme. Oh, pirates. And uh, that's... So this is gonna have everything. I'm gonna give this over to Q so he can keep me informed of what I'm actually looking at. Oh, oh this there's is not a, there's shirt. a bandana. It is a bandana. Okay, this is the most badass bandana I think I've seen. That is drinking awesome. I like the symbol. It reminds me of something awesome. I don't know why, but when I look at that, it just makes me think of an awesome, you know. Oh, mm -hmm. idea there. That is that is cool. <laughs> that is uh that is that is a pretty freaking awesome bandana. Like I I would I would I would have uh that's worth like putting on when I'm riding my motorcycle right there. Uh dude, you, you gotta do the ultimate. We gotta go back to that uh that pub. Oh uh, the Memphis. Kraken, yeah. Yeah, take yeah. the take the fire bandana. Kraken. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, is an awesome bandana. I know, not to steal it. It's it's more fight you for it. One of them. It's nice that it's something different. Um, it's not a shirt. Uh, I know what's in here. <laughs> All right, so we have a we have this little bag. Sounds like some more Pour coins. So let's uh, let's check this out. I, I'm loving these coins. Like they, this is I think the third or fourth time we've gotten coins from them. Uh, these. Okay, it's going along with the theme. Pirate coins. Open seas. By the Norse family. got like the uh, parrots and ships and the guns. Those make excellent counters too for, for different systems where they use them for luck points and fate points. Yeah. Isn't there some kind of point system to fit that for that one? It's been a while since I played, but isn't there like a, was it fate? Um, I'm not sure. Inspiration, inspiration. Well, inspiration is fifth in. That's what I said, fifth in. Oh, okay. Is that, isn't there a point there? You could use yeah. those to capture fifth, especially you a pirate game. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's cool. I mean, I, I'm loving the, uh, the the coins whenever they add those, man. Uh, we've got dragon coins, and then we had like uh, some Cthulhu-ish coins in another one. I mean, so far, I'm going to have to take everything I've seen so far. You're in trouble. All right. <laughs> oh, no, this is a nice uh, miniature set. Now, this is a... Uh, Pirate themed miniature set. You have two half moon pirates, pirates, a female half pirate. pirate, a uh, female pirate, and then you have a treasure chest. So. You know, I have a mimic, so I'd love to put that down, and then when somebody walks up to it, do the switch out. Switch it out to the mimic. Like, yeah. Guess what? You should have made a spot check. <laughs> so those are cool, which I can't get a good focus on them, it doesn't look like, but. I've got to get a better side camera. <laughs> but I mean, these effing cool miniatures, man. Like these are some of the the, the coolest metal miniatures I've seen. I gotta like this company, uh, effing cool miniatures. I like the uniqueness of it. You know, sometimes you want something that really stands out, mm -hmm. and you know, players are always looking. I've actually made a character based off a of figurine instead of the other way around. Yeah, I have to. Like, I've got a figurine instead. I'm making this guy. I mean, it's good inspiration, man. I mean, just uh, something to inspire you to do something different. And then here we have uh, some bookmarks, and of course, together they make. Hmm. Picture. So I don't have too many bookmarks when you're running campaign. No, I mean you, you you should see all the sheets of paper I have shoved into my well you have seen the, all the sheets of paper I have shoved into my books. But I basically made a whole new campaign model. Like like I've written down so much stuff I have the quest handwritten yeah. out. And then we have another uh, recipe, Kraken and Crab Surprise. Um so this one is for uh Kraken meat. And uh, do we do we have a kraken? No, we have a giant crab as the uh, the encounter to go get. So, well, we'll mm. have to make some kraken and crab surprise. <laughs> uh, we're gonna 
gonna have to substitute calamari because you know we don't go in the water. You know the golden rule. Well, well, I'm not saying make it a game. I mean, all those recipes that come with this, they they actually have real ingredients as well. Well, I know, like but the, like I said, calamari. Trust me, I know my cracking. Yeah, calamari. That's good stuff. No, I know what calamari is. Just saying, we don't have to go out in the water to get calamari. We go to Kroger. <laughs> you don't like to catch your stuff fresh, man? Uh, so this is cool. It's got a nice campaign log map. Um, all for this uh, Adventures of the Open Road. With a nice little theme. I guess a little DM, a little DM screen. Um, Anchorhead let's... Cave and DM Island. So... Apparently they're singing ghosts. That ought to be interesting. Hmm. I've really got to read through this uh, Adventures of the Open Roads. You've been lazy. We have the uh, Pirate Cove. Mm -hmm. And then we have Anchorhead Cave. Yeah, that's a nasty surprise. No spoilers, but they got something in this quest that's going to hurt someone's feelings. Dude, there's been several things that would hurt people's feelings in these. <laughs> what the heck's an undead gin? <laughs> okay, all of these quests yeah. have something horrifying. Um, escape <laughs> from <laughs> Dim Island. Hmm. Yeah, Any, anything involving water... Is a nightmare. It's usually a nightmare in, in, in D&D. &D, yeah, so. I'm looking at this and remembering why we don't go in the water. Yeah. Uh, and then last, we've got another book for 5th Ed. This is from uh, Frog God Games. You have Razor Coast, Treasures from the Heart of the Razor. It apparently, it was converted to 5th Ed. It was apparently ah, else. okay. So it was, a, it was a module from an older system. Mm -hmm. So it's saying, converted, uh, converted to 5th edition from RPG Crate specifically. Oh, oh. nice. Uh, well, yeah, they've been having a label now. I think, I think a lot of these are exclusively you can only get. Yeah, these yeah, RPG I've been crates. noticing uh, lately a lot of the books have had the RPG crate, so I'm assuming they've got at least a limited exclusivity. But nice colored colored art. So not just black and white. It looks like that. Yeah. You got some, some decent encounters in here, it looks like. So, I'm gonna have to get all those. Well, we'll have to check. Uh, we'll have You're to not doing check. anything with them. I'm gonna get all these for you. No, 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 no. You can get them back when I'm done. <laughs> I, I, I'll run them. This, this, stuff, this frog head, the frog god games has been impressing me. I really kind of want to start going through that collection. Yeah. But uh, so now, a nice crate for December. I mean, you had three miniatures instead of the normal one in the pack, which I occasionally we do have more than one. The uh, coins, which I'm always a big fan of. And it's neat to see the uh, the bandana. I think that but was a nice change, man. It is a nice change, but it's so awesome. I want it as a t-shirt as well. <laughs> like, I'm loving this, uh, this, this design. I would, I would love to see it. Uh, I would love to get a t-shirt of that as well. Uh, have to figure out who did the art and see if... Uh, See if they print off a t shirt. I don't know. <laughs> uh, RBG crazy what they say, so. Yeah. But I gotta admit, that bandana is tight. I, I kind of, like, they did, they keep doing different articles like that. That is gonna especially be cool. You know, get a oh, couple yeah. different well, things. Well, I, I mean, I was just thinking the other day, I was like, you know, um, I would like a little more surprise. Like, it, it, it's become. You know, after a while, you lose a little bit of surprise. Okay, it's always going to have a t-shirt. It's always going to have this. And this one definitely surprised me. It was something different. And, that's why I didn't say anything. Because you handed me the card, and I looked down. Yeah. And you're like, that's a nice-looking t-shirt. I'm like, I'm oh, waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Go to RPGCrate.com. Check them out. If you like all this stuff we're showing here, you can get a subscription there. They're really good guys. They, they really seem to know their their audience here. You know, they, they keep to a theme. So, really, really cool. I've really enjoyed it. You know, it's one of the uh, few subscription boxes that I've even kept for this long. So, I like the exclusive content, too. It's kind of cool to know that, you know, you're getting stuff that's just not there taking stuff no. off the shelf. 
and pack it in a box and send it to you. No, they're actually sending yeah. you. Uh, I mean, what one one of the RPG crates we uh, had a book come in that was like uh, they they found in storage that was like from the 1980s, you know. <laughs> so you know, so, I mean, you get some really neat stuff. But yeah, really enjoyed them. Like I said, check out their website. Check them out on Facebook. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Take care.